Welcome anime are a major battlefield, and for various reasons. Best girl battles, love battles, etc. And the fact is, every single anime fan has seen at least one rom-com anime. But this video itself is for those that have seen two or more. Now, if you've watched more than one rom-com, then you've probably seen some of these tropes that I'm gonna list in this video. Because there's so many things that almost every rom-com have in common. And that's what we're gonna talk about. But before we get into the video, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to click on the bell notification to be updated whenever I upload another video. Number 1. Harem Of course, not all rom-coms have harems in them, but for some reason, a lot of them go for that sort of approach. And when I say a lot, I really mean it. And it's not that surprising either. I mean, if you have some random dude with weird hair that sits at the back of the class next to the window, except if you're Hikigaya and have a crush on a fellow classmate or schoolmate, then you have to be sure that somewhere, somehow, a childhood friend and at least two other girls are gonna show up with the intention of saying Daisuke, hopefully by the 12th episode. Number 2. Love Triangle Now, love triangles and harems aren't the same thing. It usually means that you got one guy and two girls. And normally, the dude starts off by liking one girl and by the end of the show, falling for the second one. Oh, and almost every time, a childhood friend is one of them. Which takes me to the next one. Number 3. Childhood friend. Rom-com anime have some sort of obsession when it comes to childhood friends. Almost every rom-com I've ever watched, there must always be some sort of childhood friend involved. And most of the times, she ends up falling for the dude, or she's been having this one-sided love for him ever since she was a fetus. But no matter how long she's been in love with him, or even if she knows him better than the main heroine, she still ends up losing. Number 4. Rejection equals try again. Now, in the real world, if you confess to a girl that she rejects you, you normally go home, enter a state of depression, cry about it, and move on to the next one. But not an anime. Over here, if a dude gets rejected, he then transforms into Simp Naruto and won't give up on the girl. In fact, he will spend the next 1-10 to 10 episodes trying to get with the same girl who rejected him. Number 5. Helping girl equals love. Now, I know about the situations where if a girl and a guy go through a tough or dangerous situation together, they develop some sort of feelings for each other. But in some anime, we've seen that even when dudes offer some sort of help to the girl, she then falls head over heels for him. Number 6. Emoto slash Onesa In this case, just like the childhood friend, there will be another being in the story called the Emoto or Onesa. And just to be sure that if you see a little sister or a big sister, there will be some sort of attraction between the sister and her brother. Oh, and they're always not blood related. Number 7. Holding hands and first names are some of the most embarrassing things in existence. Now, as a couple, it shouldn't be hard to hold hands. In fact, even kissing is a daily thing. But not in rom-coms. Over here, some couples may end up spending about 3 or more episodes before finally holding a finger. Not to mention first names. Saying your loved one's first name aloud will always result in your face turning to a tomato. Number 8. Sensei. Now, as long as there's a high school, expect a teacher. Sometimes the teacher will be there to guide the students, other times the teacher will be there to spice up some things. Which is why some teachers are just like the Onesans and give off an ara ara sort of vibe. Like Domestic Girlfriend, which ended up being the peak of spicy rom-coms. Number 9. Misunderstandings equals plot. We all know them and we all know how annoying they can get. Especially when the girl you like who pretends not to like you back sees you with another girl. Once that happens, prepare for 1-3 to three episodes of everyone's favorite rom-com arc, clear the misunderstanding. Other times, it takes the whole damn anime, like Gekan Shoujo no Zaki-kun, where the show started on a misunderstanding and ended on a misunderstanding. Number 10. Beach, pool, school trip, culture festival, summer festival, sports day episodes. Now, you can't be a proper rom-com without such episodes. It's tradition, but of course, if you have a 12-episode rom-com, then you can't have all these episodes. But one thing is for sure, that no matter which rom-com you're watching, you must always have at least one of these episodes. And if it's a 25 episode rom-com or has more than a season, then you should expect even more. Well weepsters, there you have it. No matter which rom-com anime you watch, you must always find these tropes in them. If you guys know more than what I just mentioned, feel free to comment down below. With that being said, I've been Hirito, and I'll see you all next time. Johnny.